Hello everyone, this is NJ Software, and welcome to my fifth video. Today we will be using a new class called UIView to change the orientation of a UI element with an animation function. We will use a button to trigger the animation, and an image view will be our test subject. There are many other cool functions in UIView, and I encourage you to test them on your own time. Before we start, here's the answer to the last video's challenge problem. If you guys remember from my last video, in our tap counter game, the user is able to increment our taps counted label without even starting the timer. We need to fix this, and this is how you do it. So let's go back into our code, and all we need to do is write a simple if statement. And it goes, if timer.valid, and this is a boolean property, meaning true or false. And basically it says here, a boolean value that indicates whether the receiver is currently valid, meaning if the connection is still in place between the timer and our view. So if timer.valid, and uh, this, since this is a boolean property, we do not need to say double equal to true because it is a boolean property, so it's already implied. So if timer.valid, meaning if the connection is uh, present, then our taps counted should increment. So this is all we need, and if we build and run our application, now we can test it. It is not working because the timer is not does not have a connection to the view. Let's start it. And now you can increment our taps counted label. Reset it again and you can keep on testing this. It works. And that's how you finish the problem. Let's go ahead and open the Xcode application. Click on create a new Xcode project. And this will be a single view application. Click next. And I'm going to call this rotate or rotation. Sounds better. Uh, do not click use core data, and it could be universal or iPhone or iPad. Of course, the language will be Swift. Click next. Save it to your desktop or anywhere else you would like to. Go ahead and create your project. And now let's get started with building our UI. So we will need a uh, an image view. Drag that in. Yeah, let's actually change our orientation and size. So I'm going to go for our standard iPhone 6 which is a 4.7 inch. The orientation will be portrait and let's drag this here and we're also going to need a button. Alright and then let's just call this rotate. Yeah, okay. Center that in this image view, I want it to have a background color. Uh, you can choose any color you would like. I'm going to go for, just go for like a little green. Okay, and it won't appear here, but if, let's just build and run this to make sure the colors are working. Alright, so yeah, there it is, the color is working, and we have got our UI set up. And as we know, to change the attributes of the elements on our screen, we have to connect them to the code. So I'm going to make some space, I hopped into the assistant editor over here, and now let's connect the image view. So, control click and drag, right underneath, right underneath the class declaration, and just call this um, image. This will be an outlet and connect and then we can also connect our button to the action section just call this rotate action or rotate PTN for button and this will be an action and we will also need actually a reset button to reset the orientation of our image view so let's just make another button and then call this one some space Let's, let's put them over here and call this one reset and then we can also control click and drag this right underneath our rotate button action call this reset btn it is an action and connect it and now we've set up our actions and outlets correctly now we can use methods provided for us by the UI view class to rotate our image view. So let's go into our rotate btn function and now we can type 
UI view dot animate with duration and this will be the first one which I have right here and the duration which is an NS time interval meaning like one second or two seconds we will use one second and our animations we will be using a block here so what you'll have to do is do um, a parenthesis and then put two curly braces and then we want two parentheses to close off our animate with duration function and now we can write code in this block that will animate with a duration of one second. So let's go ahead and type image dot transform is equal to CG affine make rotation. It's this one right here with an angle which is of type CG float. And to make a full rotation, or actually let's do like a halfway rotation, we can just try 360 degrees and let's see what happens. And we have a little fix it error. Okay, yeah, we have to add self to reference our property image. And let's go ahead and build and run this and see what happens. Alright, so if we hit rotate, our image rotates. So now we know the rotation function works. Before we write the code for a reset button, I noticed a mistake that I made with connecting the reset button to our code. In our out in our action function, uh, we see that our reset button has a good connection with our reset button action, which is what we want. But it also has a connection with our rotate button. I made a mistake with this when I copy and pasted the rotate button. So we can do this by just double uh, double clicking on a reset button, and then we can uh, we can disconnect the connection to the rotate button action. And now the only connection it has is with the reset button action. So that is what we want. So the code in our reset button action will look almost identical to the code in our rotate button action. So we can just copy and paste it right into our reset button action or function. And then um, I want you to change one thing. So don't worry about what this is now. Just you can kind of infer from pi what it could mean. But uh, we will put the uh, angle value as m underscore pi. And first of all, the angle has to be in uh, CG float form, so we can just cast it as a CG float with Swift syntax, and there we go. And, okay, we got error. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, oops, I capitalized the L. Okay, so there we go. And also, I want you to change one thing for our rotate button. We'll do the same thing, m underscore pi, and just add... 10 to it so we can have an irregularity. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna also have to cast that as a CG float. So go ahead and build and run this. So if you hit the rotate button, it rotates slightly, and if you hit the reset button, it rotates all the way back, and you can keep on doing this endlessly. So that is how you rotate UI elements in Swift. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.